Hindsight 2021 for the last week of December. I'm Damian Musiani, and here's your news. Leading off, it's official. President Joe Biden will agree with anything you put in front of him. In a Christmas Eve holiday call with children and parents, Biden was ambushed when a father said, let's go, Brandon, conservative code for F. Joe Biden. These audio ambushes have been a reality for Americans ever since Baba Booey became the most heard phrase in televised golf. But it was Biden's response that was amazing. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. Yeah. It takes a brave man to say, go F himself to himself. Democrat supporters have responded with assertions that Biden knew immediately he was being had and brushed it off or simply didn't care. Still, it's a little scary. If he agrees to F himself, what if Putin calls him one day and says, I think you should push that red button on your desk. I agree. Yeah. Lobbyists meet with him and say, Joe, we got to spend $3 trillion on roads. I yeah. agree. Kamala Harris walks in the Oval Office and says, I think I'm going to change up this wallpaper. I yeah. agree. If you still think Biden and Trump are headed for a 2024 rematch, um, just don't. The New York Attorney General's office is holding the reins on a shock and awe attack on Trump that will be timed to occur at about the same time he announces his candidacy. Remember Trump University? That whole thing didn't go away. It's just hibernating. But Biden is making it harder and harder to back him in a re-election campaign as well. I guess we are still less gullible than people in Italy. A Census Research Institute survey revealed that 10% of Italians think astronauts never set foot on the moon, and 20% think that 5G technology is a way to control people's minds. I agree. Yeah. Even more disturbing, 6% don't believe there is a coronavirus. Remember when Italy had stacks of dead people spilling out of morgues and hospitals overrun with COVID cases? Well, apparently Italians do not. But do not count American gullibility out. One only needs to turn our lonely eyes to Florida. That was where 34-year-old Patrick Florence was pulled over by cops, who then searched him and found packs of cocaine and methamphetamine wrapped around his penis. Florence looked the officers in the eye and said, the drugs were not his. I agree. We hope he gets a stiff sentence for possession. And finally, today is the last episode of Hindsight 2021. It's been an incredible year for us. We were nominated for a writing Emmy, won a Davy Award, a W3 Award, launched on a home TV platform, and our fan base grew from dozens to thousands. Starting Sunday, January 2nd, we will be Hindsight Tonight. Still available on the DBNA Television Network on youtube.com slash Hindsight Tonight and on hindsighttonight.com, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you haven't already, please subscribe right now so you don't miss a single laugh. And that's your news. Happy holidays, and I'll see you next week on Hindsight Tonight.